Hey Annie, how are you doing? Um, sorry about the lighting in the storm, it's really weird and I can't find the right spot of where to go. Um, I hope you have a great vacation. And this is a short video of things we would have covered at our lesson. And sorry we missed you. Um, look forward to seeing you this coming week. So we're gonna start off with our violin in rest position and our bow also in rest position. And so remember, we have our pointer finger and we just hang our bow like this with our pointer finger and the hair is away from us. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our step with our feet, so back and forth, and then we're gonna use both hands to help us do our bow hold upside down. And then we're gonna grab right here on the violin, bring our violin up, put it upside down, and bring it to our shoulder, and then put our bow on the E string. Yes, let's try it one more time. So our violin in rest position, as well as our bow in rest position. We're gonna take our step with our feet, and we're gonna flip our bow upside down with both hands, use both hands to help make our bow hold. Once we feel pretty safe, we can let go. With one hand, we'll grab the violin, bring it up, and bring it up to our shoulder. We're gonna to come to our E string, and we're gonna do Mississippi Hot Dog on the E string two times in a row. Wait, wait, ready, go. And let's try down, pony, up, pony, two times in a row on the E string. Wait, wait, ready, go. And we're going to try Mississippi is a river. Wait, wait, ready, go. And then we have beautiful butterfly. Wait, wait, ready, go. And we can do that on our E string and our A string two times, and we can do them up to four times in a row. Just trying to get used to those rhythms, and we always want to make sure we start with a down bow, going down to the floor. Now, the other week, we were working on See the Little Monkey, um, and so here's See the Little Monkey on our E string and then our A string. So here's on the E string. I'm going to start halfway through first. So I'm going to come to my third finger. I'm going to place all fingers, one, two, three, on my E string. I want to make sure my wrist is beautiful. And I'm going to put my bow on the E string. And I'm going to play Mississippi Hot Dogs like this. Wait, wait, ready, go. Second finger, ready, go. First finger, ready, go. Open, E, ready, go. All right, and then... From there, after you do that a couple times on both the E and A string, we'll go up and down. So here's going up and down. I start with wait, wait, ready, go. First finger, ready, go. Second finger, ready, go. Third finger, ready, go. Stay there, ready, go. Second finger, ready, go. First finger, ready, go. Open, E, ready, go. And I can do that on my E and A string. And as I'm doing this, I want to make sure I'm opening right here from my elbow, from my bow arm. I want to make, I want to make sure I'm not doing this with my bow arm. So then my bow will go all over the place. I want to make sure I'm opening right from my elbow as I play. Now, we are also doing our flower song with our bow which goes like this. Ready, go. Ready, go. Ready, go. Ready, go. And I'll show that up close. I'll show up this angle. And eventually, we'd like to take out all our stops and play it like this. Um, and we'll be getting to that in these next couple weeks, uh, just making sure our bow is really where we want it to go. Now, we also had our alphabet and scale, which we won't go over today. And we're also singing Twinkle. Again, we won't go over that today. You can go over that at home. And then we had our ants, which we're going to pluck like this. All right. And we 
can do that several times. And then I have G, D, G like this. Stop. G, D, G, stop. G, G, D, D, G, D, G, stop. D, A, D, stop. D, A, D, stop. D, D, A, A, D, A, D, stop. A, E, A, stop. A, E, A, stop. A, A, E, E, A, E, A, stop. Now we're gonna get our bow, and we're gonna put our bow on the A string, and we're gonna play A, A, E, A like this. Stop. 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 Alright, um, so it's something we can try out um, this week, um, we're just playing with our bow, A, E, A, and we're going to add the stops in, um, be a nice challenge for us. Now we're also going to do rolling our bow, we're going to roll our bow, so we're going to put our violin up in play position, I'm going to come and set my bow on the E string, I'm going to roll my bow all the way to the G string, and then back to the E string, and back to the G string, and up to the E. And I'm going to do this as quietly as possible. And I'm going to allow my arm, my whole arm, to move up and down like that. And then I'm going to come and I call this bow rock. So I'm going to rock my bow between the E and the A string, just like this. Almost kind of like a rocking chair. And then I can do that between D and A string. I'm just rocking back and forth. And then I can do that between G and D. Now we're going to try playing ants, this is new for us, with our bow. So we're going to come and we'll play each string three times. So it'll go like this. Each, each, each. Roll the bow to the A string. Each and every. Ant, ant, ant. Roll to the D string. Digging in the dirt, dirt, dirt. Roll to the G string. Going under ground, ground, ground. And we can try that several times. We want to make sure our bow rolls to the new string, and then we play. We want to make sure we're not playing, moving our bow as we're rolling it, because I'll sound like a big mess. And then our last thing um, we won't do today um, in this video, but I would like you to see how many times you can play Mississippi Hot Dog in a row. Uh, maybe you could keep track of how many times you can do it without stopping. So it'd be like this. And I can keep on going, I just wanna make sure, I wanna see how many times I can do it in a row. And I look forward to seeing you on Tuesday, Annie, and excited to hear about your trip and hope um, you have a wonderful time on your trip. And again, sorry about the bad lighting in this video. I can't figure out a good spot to put my camera um, in this room that I'm in. So hope you have a wonderful week and I'll see you on Tuesday. Bye.